Joe Piscopo. Look at that, an old friend. Popped you didn't come in. here to talk to us, though. You you, you came uh, there, here uh, to talk to the old people on that other station. Yeah. Guys, I came to say hi. It's been, we were together when, I think, uh, Millard Fillmore was president. It was, yeah, it was when we were down at, CB, at the other station. At, what was it? And uh, they were saying how groundbreaking that election was. <laughs> <laughs> It, well, I got to tell you, it was, and I, I, I said, by the time I see you guys, a black guy's going to be president, man. Yeah, I, look at that. Not, I said, Jesus, look at this, you know. Thinking it would be uh, broadcasting from the moon, I it's guess. It's good to see you, though, <laughs> fellas. I go in. I'm I really. I'm probably, I was on CBS FM. We're doing a show yeah. with Cool and the Gang, November thirteenth yeah. for the boys and girls. Cool and the Gang. The, cool and the, November thirteenth, NJ Pack. Look at me. I'm getting the plug in now. You sure, know? Like, why not? And and you know what? It's, it's so it's going to be a good event for boys and girls clubs in New Jersey. So they said, Opie and Anthony, Anthony are over there. I said, Get out! Of there. I haven't seen those guys since they got kicked off the air and then back again. Yeah. And I remember. Yeah. Remember the first day. This is nostalgic. I walk in, ladies and gentlemen, to the young listeners listening. I walk into Opie and Anthony. These new guys on the block. I walk in. There on the couch lies a naked woman. Thank you, boys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, boys. I didn't I mean, run. You didn't run. And, uh, you I didn't know. go, did I? No, no, no. Some people do get a little spooked by that and leave. Who's the guy yeah. that uh, ran screaming from uh, NEW? I believe it was John the, Travolta. Tom <laughs> Cruise. No, it was the guy. no, that's not true, is it? The guy from uh, Police the guy that Academy makes right? all the voice, uh, all the yeah. all the sound effects. Oh, I remember that. I was on right after that guy. That's probably. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because there was some debauchery going on. We were supposed to interview him. Why? I don't know. But we were. And he saw the craziness happening in the studio. He actually got up off the couch outside the studio and he didn't walk. He ran. I remember. He didn't want any you know, part. I remember of the that naked like it was thing. yesterday. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I mean, what was that guy's name? Come on. He did. He did all the. Uh, Michael, Michael Winslow. Winslow. Academy. Michael Winslow. Oh. Michael Winslow. Right. And he walked in. You see? Uh, but I stayed. Yeah. You did. Which yeah. is why I could never run for political office. But <laughs> yeah, uh, I know. That's what I think he was thinking. Like, was I better get out of here. <laughs> no, it's Opie and freaking Anthony. Come on, give it yeah, a rest. Are you? You know the content. So you guys are on like seven networks now. Wait, I can't count. So you're doing? Yeah. Is this local radio here we're talking here? Yeah, we're on uh, locally in, here in New York, Boston, Cleveland, and a bunch of other oh, places. Oh, they call us oh, terrestrial on radio. radio. So we're on satellite radio yeah. also, but then we're exclusively on satellite after 9. And then uh, uh, CB Channel 19. I can't keep track. Off of the truckers. I just can't keep track. I'm and, getting too uh, old. Like, we're doing a <laughs> podcast. <laughs> UH, UHF. Do you, are you doing a podcast? No, of course not. <laughs> we can't be bothered with this thing anymore. Look I love at you guys. We, we got a few money. We're just waiting for the we day. We do? Oh, I do. I wish I, I did. I, that's, I'm spending all my that's the beauty of being a skin flint. <laughs> no, that's right. Because you guys were on no. XM. You guys were on XM, and then they <laughs> they stole you back here. And then, but yeah. they they made like a me. They had the Don kind of negotiate a deal. Yeah. Uh, for so XM was still in the play. Yeah. So yeah. after nine, you 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 stay right in this studio. No, we have no. To now walk. we got to no, walk over no, to another don't. studio. Don't yes, we do. No, no, because they don't have the technology. No, because like, they plug it, it in. I mean, no, two companies don't want to work together. They didn't. They all both want to show off their you know their big you know what. Oh man. So we have to suffer and go from one studio to another every day. Is it in the same building? No. no. Oh, uh, so you got to get in a limo. 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 With champagne we and broth. What do you think you're talking yeah. to? Yeah. Prostitutes, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's a rickshaw. Get the boys broads. Exactly. They'll be fine. Yeah. So what happened? Alimony now? You done with that now? Oh, oh yeah. Wow. It's almost oh. done. Like, huh? Not... Wait, After nine I years, Joe's I'm been through that, right? That. I wrote the book. Whatever you need to know, yeah, just tell yeah. me, huh? You like it? You know, I wore, look at the suit I got on. Yeah, the little nice. thing. This is this is not an old man. How do you still own that? I'm gonna dress down. I'm so How do you still guys. own that if you uh, have an ex? <laughs> she didn't take everything, obviously. Wow, That's a nice no, suit there, Joe. We, we love the mothers of our children. You have to be respectful of that. I don't have any children. That's just it. Oh, I have no reason to have any business with this woman at all. At all, I tell you, man. Except it's a, signing a check, it's, he's almost done. Though was Joe. she was almost. she younger? Was she younger? I mean, no, no. Now, now they are, Joe. You know how that goes. No, I Once don't. You bail <laughs> no, I, don't. Once I you have bail no out, idea at all. You got to get them now when they're uh, twenty. You know, just twenty. Like, twenty. Yeah. Twenty one. Right? <laughs> yeah, you got to see. Oh my God! You're Does not, Joe no. understand? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, baby. Not I, me. Oh, I have course, no idea no. what you guys are talking about. Any just, video running course, here? No. Of course, course not. I'll tell you, I'm okay now, but last week I was in rough shape. Rough shape, I'll tell you. <laughs> what, you got something in your eye, Joe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, forget. What's with that? What's with that? Then anybody goes, uh, Joe, you should be someone with someone age appropriate. You know, and, and the 70-year-olds, I don't know. I mean, I don't have to be disrespectful you know, or anything. Not you know? to be, but, you know, an ass like a snare drum. <laughs> That's what you like. Boom, boom, boom. 
I have no idea what you're talking of about. Of course not. I, no, Joe, I, that's why I'm trying to enlighten you. Thank on the, you. Yeah, right. I, I, sure. Oh, but it's it's you seen Joe on the radio. Up. But but if I meet a young girl, they go, "Yeah, you were what? When? Where?" But with you now on the radio with the the uh, O and A thing, I mean, you could get uh, you could no. get broads all over the well, place. Well, you know, you got to find girls that probably um, don't have good relationships with their dads, <laughs> things like that. If you know, uh, you reach a point where you know. You need girls with what I call baggage. <laughs> you know? yeah. I'm laughing because it's true. Yeah. And uh, it, it, you know, if you have to meet a dysfunctional young know, because that has, has a father a figure problem. Well, father there you go. But do you argue with that? Absolutely not. Because you know why? We're there to help. Who am I to say, Joe? Who are you to Who say? Am I? Who are you to freaking Who say this is judge? a problem? This is not a problem. I'm this is a judge? good thing. This is a good thing. Right. Absolutely. We haven't seen right. you in a while. Exactly. Come here, sweetheart. Hey, you look good. You want a father? I'll be your father. Hey, who's your daddy? Come here. We haven't seen you in a while. Did you remarry? Did, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I, didn't. No. No, I was ma I was married twenty years and uh, twenty years to the babysitter guys. Don't forget right, that. right. So I ran off. But listen, it was twenty years, so it was a good thing. Three beautiful. I keep having children. I'm like I, I have a child at every exit, like I say. You know, yeah, I'm gonna be apparently. the Anthony Quinn of New Jersey, and I love kids. I can't I can't hold on to my wife. So do I. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you date them. I said, hey, I'm sorry. all right, I'm okay, I'm all right. But seriously, That's folks. <laughs> yeah. Now you, but you guys, but you stay married all the time, right? I'm not. Oh, I'm he's getting married He's in getting. a couple weeks. Well, who, who's married for a long time? I was married for a, a while. I get mixed up with you guys. You and know? then I was in a long-term You had the gay relationship between that. the two of you. And then I went gay for a little while. But that was a uh, bad thing. You know, yeah, you got to try out a little bit of everything. Hey, you know? hey come on now. You know, see what you like out there. <laughs> you, know those, you should talk. Uh, you know, you were with Eddie Murphy for a while. I'll tell you, that's that. a, unbelievable. <laughs> I said, no, no. You know what? Not true. Not true. <laughs> Not true. All these rumors. I was there. You know what's exciting about that? Being on Saturday Night Live, being with Eddie Murphy, watching the meteoric rise of this spectacular talent yeah. i'll tell you what this guy with the chicks was like a magnet a magnet yeah and i was right there so and, and i live vicariously but i should have probably vented everything then you know because i was late by the time i was late then i ran yeah. off with the babysitter that was like retarded you know no I mean? that's a good thing though uh, i bet can i jump in for one second here uh on our phone line we got maureen mccormick we got marcia uh, marcia brady uh, maureen good technology is that xm no, uh, yeah. that, that was the uh, uh blame um uh maureen XM. mccormick from Going once. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me at the auction. <laughs> no, no. Maureen McCormick, and everyone. She called in? Maureen McCormick on line 11, line 11. <laughs> Maureen? <laughs> All right. Can Back I correct Joe something? Yeah, yeah, correct something. Our gonna... exclusive static with Maureen McCormick. Yeah. <laughs> I have to correct something. I, I like an idiot. I announced uh, my tickets for Atlantic City going on sale this morning. It's tomorrow morning for January 16th, 17th. Oh, the Borgata. Borgata. Oh. We, play, we play the music box down there? Yeah, do two Beautiful. shows there. Oh, awesome. That is um, awesome. When's the day? January 16th and 17th. Let's go down. You're gambling we'll man, get bro? No. Absolutely no, not, not a all. dime. Not a not freaking a dime? dime. Only with only with Smart my wife. Guy. But aside Smart. from that, Smart no. Guy. No, you don't. As a matter of fact, all the years <laughs> that I play, you know, is is I don't I don't go near the right? Do you walk through the casino cuz I could think I might spend 200 bucks on the machine like a little bit of the uh, yeah. video poker. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm an addict so you I, know I don't it is. trust myself. You guys uh, you you're performing in these places. So it's hard to you're in them a lot more than I am. I go down there maybe once every six months, if that. Do you go to the tables? I go. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, we gotta bring this boy down. I'm a, a they love that. Jack, we like to drop poker. big. You gotta yeah. have to drop big. So blackjack. No, blackjack is cool. I yeah, can see that's, that. That's a fun game. But some uh, guys, the guys do craps. They do craps. They get there. They get pumped. Yeah. And God bless you. Please continue to do it because it's our bread and butter. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. Go. Well, casinos are hurting uh, now. But I watched Dice one time. Weeks. I used to open for Dice, and when yes. he wanted to work, the Venetian was opening up. Yeah, and yeah. I was the opening act, of course. And he dropped, I think, two hundred and forty or two hundred and fifty thousand in cash. Wow. And then he got a huge two-year contract after that. He's like, "Oh, here's a guy who will, <laughs> who will gamble." Yeah. So it was almost like a really smart move. He purposely went to that casino because he wanted a contract. It was really oh, a brilliant it? move. Because Frank Sinatra and everything, they all did. Yeah. They played the tables between shows, man. They between went between shows. shows and later. And you know, I see Bruce Willis go down. Bruce was a great. He has a great thing down there. Yeah. There's that blues band, which is sensational. And then he'll hit the tables, do blackjack, and yeah. to the tune. Not me, man. I'm in my room at room service. Yeah, all by myself, concentrating on the next night's show. That's really me. Look That's at me. you. Hell oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Hold on. We're yeah, going to try this again. Uh, Maureen McCormick. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hey, Maureen, you got a book out, right? I do. I do. It's called Here's the Story. Oh, great. Thanks. Uh, Joe, so... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, they want us off here at a certain time, so <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Wait, did you... 
Was that, that, is, a, that, that was is, an act. Tell me it was an accident. That is not even crap. right. <laughs> you should have wrote wait, the book 20 years ago. Who wants to read it now? An iconic figure. Wait a minute. Wait oh, a really? Guys, guys, hold it. I need yeah. to be the mediator no. here. Because but, you guys are always wacky, you're always crazy, and I'm always going to be the calming force in the storm. Hold on. Yeah. So this girl calls. There's probably months of publicity. Yeah. A PR person says, we'll get you an yeah, opening, exactly, Anthony. Yeah. So everybody's afraid to go and open your freaking Anthony. Because then I know you guys as nice guys. They all know you sure. as opening Anthony. You know, crazy. So she comes on. She goes into the... And then she goes, hi, that's... It and that's the shot. Could you at least mention her book, the bite? What's the name of the book? Come on, she, she got the name out right. Yeah. What is, I forgot what's the name. name Maureen McCormick. Here's the story. Here's the story. Surviving. What does it say? She was having sex with guys. Stop. For, stop. For, surviving yeah. Marsha Brady and finding my true voice. It's a beautiful book. It's breaking windows. Okay. <laughs> she was having sex with guys. Oh, you guys are okay. You guys are. I'll tell you. What a tough act. A tough act. <laughs> I actually Thank do you. want to read that book. <laughs> Because <laughs> she had like a really a real story afterwards. I mean, she was like, I'm not, she wasn't hooking, but she was having sex with guys for drugs. She admitted that. You know, she was, yeah. she said, "Is that right?" Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, you cut her off. Well, we got to go now. Oh, so. okay. Uh, yeah. You go? I come with oh, respect. You could, I, you could go to the satellite uh, portion of the show and curse with us. If you, you know, want. Jersey <laughs> oh, yeah, Paisan like is always going to be respected yeah. when you walk in here. My, oh, that's right. You know what, guys? I, I, I've known you since day one, and you guys. I tell you what. Despite what your listeners think, yeah. <laughs> despite you guys are good or guys, man. And you know, you I shouldn't. I shouldn't break the. Uh, break the image but thanks guys i come and, with and erox uh gives us a picture of uh -oh. the last time you're on our show wow, oh, look oh, oh look at that 1999 suit. Suit. Oh my gosh, and uh wow suit. that time's a bitch i mean <laughs> joe you're not I asian go, but I, we sure are no Damn. baby look i go that. when i go do tv now they go joe you want makeup i do no surgery please i want <laughs> i want that immediate surgery anymore get my eyes oh god this look at that's when you guys first started out yeah <laughs> you said, that was that's when you first started paying alimony yeah, right there yeah <laughs> well this might have been right yeah this is probably just at the point. Yeah. Look at I the had, look on your face. I had my whoopsie daisy. Yeah. And, uh, oh, that was, man. That hey. was before three suspensions and two firings, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the good old days. What is it? Opie right. and Anthony on the radio. Hey, guys, thanks. Good to see you guys. What's man. the plug, Joe? Joe? What are you doing? No, you know what? It was just nah, cool again. Boys and Girls Clubs of New Jersey good help calls. out the boys, these great, wonderful, beautiful children. We do a lot of nonprofit work now, you know, because I'm old. I always feel like I have to give back a little bit. So in the great state of New Jersey are honoring the Boys and Girls Clubs with doing Cool and the Gang at NJ Pack. Thanks for letting me get it in. No you know, I mean, that, that beautiful NJ Pack in Newark. So we do a concert next Thursday night. That's what I wanted to come in. But I, I, that doing was, Frank? That I do. I go out through the whole show. We do it in Atlantic City. We do it in Vegas. I played the Montreal freaking Jazz Festival this wow, year. Cool. Check that out. Montreal. What was I doing there? We did another Jazz Festival. I go out with the guys and he's going to cut me off. There's going to be a dial tone in about yeah, two right? seconds. <laughs> I said, I don't even know how I got here, but I'm having a blast. So yeah, come see the show. It'd be, it's a lot of fun. And you do stand-up still? Yeah. You know, most of the act, most of the act is like, it's the show, the hour and 15, what do we do? 75 minutes. The casino show. It's a casino hour, you know? They always tell you, and half of it's comedy. We I have an opener, and I do fifty. I have an opener, fact, and I do fifty. I have, I have with me. I actually bought. I swear to God, I have it with me. Letterman doing a top five, a top five. Do you, you don't have time to do it? do it. A I top five, a top five orders issued by uh, President Obama. The top five <laughs> orders to be issued by President Obama. This is what I do in the act, but you can't see the teeth and glasses, so just go there. Number five, uh, uh, change. Uh, Obama's going to change the first line of the Star Spangled Banner to Oprah. Can you see? <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Number four, at the inaugural concert, Barney Frank will introduce Liza Minnelli. Is that oh, good? Is that good way to say that? Go. Number three, it will be illegal to say my friends and maverick anymore. <laughs> Number be two, more funny. Number two, number two, Alaska must secede from the union, ladies and gentlemen. This is going great. <laughs> and the number one order to be issued by President Obama on the $5 bill, Abe Lincoln will be replaced by Karl Marx. Thank you very much. There it is right there. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. <laughs> and I'll tell you, that's it. Oh, my head hurts. <laughs> what can I tell you? I got shtick. I'm bringing material. Oh, Joe, you, brought, Anthony now. you gave us a lot of energy to end, uh, end the show tonight. Thank you so much, sir. Good to see we'll you. We'll see you soon, all right? You guys, take care. And thanks okay. to CBS <laughs> FM. We don't really like those guys, but they did, they did the right oh, thing they're today. Great. They're great. I'm they did you. the right thing today. So. <laughs> well, I have uh, uh, go, go, tickets Jimmy. tomorrow, uh, Atlantic City, January 16th, 17th, and my book is in stores now, so if you want to get it, I get it. Guts. Yes. <laughs> thanks, guys. All right. <laughs> Joe Piscopo. And we'll also want to thank Maureen McCormick for calling the show today as well. Have a good weekend. And if you're not joining us, blah, blah, blah. We'll see you Monday. Oh, for this side of the show, someone remind me, we do have the clips of the guy that survived jumping off uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, yeah. Didn't have time because Joe ran in, which is, you know, that oh, takes precedence. Nah, so if someone uh, reminds us, we'll do that for you on Monday, please, because we're going to forget because it's going to be a, a long weekend. Remind us. We'll play that Monday. All right. Oh, okay. No, I just have a little bit of a complaint. All right. Who's this? Well, no, hi. My name's Paul. Uh, the two gentlemen that are oh, on the radio on, now. Paul, I'm just an intern. Let me get the program director you want. 
Yeah, or somebody, please. Okay, hold on a minute, please. Engineering. Hi, Engineering. How are you? Uh, can good. you guys do me a favor? What's, uh, what's the I'll problem? give you guys a hundred bucks cash under the table to pull a plug on them to blab them out. Come to play some music. Oh, th you want programming? This is engineering, sir. Oh, programming, please. Oh, please hold. Yeah, hello. Hey, uh, do me a favor. I'll give somebody in programming, whoever it is, I'll give them like 500 bucks under the table to shut these guys up for a little while, play some music or something. What are you talking about? Th this is the Jock Lounge. Oh, the Jock, oh. Where the DJs <laughs> hang before they go on the air. Oh, no, they keep, they keep transferring me around. I, I want to talk to somebody. Um, I mean, these, these guys are a little bit ridiculous today, you know? Let them, they call themselves disc jockeys. Let them throw on some discs. All right, hold on a minute. Something. You want the PD or the general manager? Uh, I guess the program director would be fine. I'm not going to bother the general manager. Maintenance. Yeah, you guys keep ping-ponging me around. Is there any way to shut those two dudes up? You want programming, sir? Sure, why not? I'll hang out and play the game. Go for it. Programming. Hi. Hi, what's up? Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to get. Uh, I'm trying to talk to somebody to, to keep Tweedledum and Tweedledum just a little bit quieter and play some more tunes. Is that possible? Who's Tweedledee and Tweedledum? No, Tweedledum and Tweedledum. And them two yahoos you got blabbering on the radio. They sound like two old women from Long Island. Is there any way to keep them quiet, you two GJs, and just play a couple of more tunes? Is that possible? So you're looking for programming? I don't know who they got me looking for now. Uh, where am I? Where did I get now? No, I apologize. We're, we're having a problem with the phone system. Can you hold on one last second? Hey, no problem. I'm cool. All right, hold on. You've reached one nine hundred. Suck my <laughs> for hot gay male sex. If you like big fists up your ass, stay on the line. You'll get a hot. Right in your mouth to blow s all over that face of yours. Wow. <laughs> it's the Opie and Anthony show continuing. We played an old bit in there, and um, if you're listening to the replay, maybe this won't make any sense, and I apologize, but because um, I think we cut out those bits in between shows, don't we? Sometimes. You know what? Uh, Who the uh, hell knows? I'll, I'll try. I'll, I'll do my best to keep that, that last segment in so All this right. makes sense. So now. this makes sense? Okay, good. And uh, it sounded like Fred from mm. Brooklyn. A lot. Dude. A lot. Yeah. Maybe I'm going a little mm. too inside, but Fred from Brooklyn is like a hardcore fan of, well, he used to be a hardcore fan of our show, and he's one of the guys that decided to be more of a hardcore fan of Ron Fez. I, I know what goes on out there. I'm not stupid. But also enjoys our show. And uh, that old bit from probably 1999... Sounds a lot like Fred from Brooklyn. And I'm wondering yeah, if it, it was him. I don't know. I'm horrible with fucking like voices right. over the phone. Really? And, uh, yeah, and, and shows. Like my ex used to be, she could watch a commercial and hear a voice of the n person that's narrating the commercial and go, oh, that's, you know, Donald Sutherland or whoever. I'm like, how the fuck do you know that? But you do voices. So yeah, but why I wouldn't can't, you pick up on that I, stuff? I am the worst at it. That's so weird. Like, oh, that's fucking Harrison Ford. Yeah. Like, I, I can't. And then once you hear it, it's like, or uh, on The Simpsons, you're watching The Simpsons and you, and you go like, uh, oh, that's, you know, Naomi Campbell or something. Steven Tyler. Like, I have no idea who the fuck that is. But Unless the character is, you know, made to be them on the show, but. But you you have to have a good ear to do what you do, so that's yeah, kind of weird to me. Yeah, yeah. I'm, eh. I'm horrible at it. Eh, what are you going to do? <laughs> Joe Piscopo, how fun was he, huh? Joe Piscopo, boy, when he was doing his list and you were well, what happened? playing little well, what, sounds over it. Well, well, what happened? That was really uncomfortable, but very, very funny. <laughs> very <laughs> funny. Really funny. It was his big bit. He was all excited to do it for us. and It's probably his clo uh, closer. Closer. His closer? It, it was probably his closer when he I does his know. thing. He probably does that and then does a Frank Sinatra song. I don't know why I got nervous at first when he said, oh, I got an Obama list here. I'm like, oh, where's, oh the, where's the dump button? Oh, boy. I'm like, oh, let me just uh, yes, get ready right. on the dump button. Um, we were having him record IDs over at K-Rock. Yeah. He made us uh, replay them so he could hear them, and if he didn't like them, he made Tim delete them. And redo it again. Oh, so you, we didn't have any uh, material Some, to kind of no goof audio. Like okay, no, we, I got. I Obi and Anthony show. <laughs> <laughs> I have some. I'm gonna go cut up. Oh, now, I mean, but all the good stuff. He Joe Piscopo on your radio dial. 